Lockdowns seem to becoming uh, seem to be becoming a more common occurrence at area schools, and when they happen, parents certainly have safety concerns. Our Riley Livingston talks with law enforcement and educators to find out how they protect students. She joins us in the studio with that story, Riley. Thanks, Andrea. School lockdowns happen every day across the country. Sometimes they are caused by simple things as rumors, and other times there is a real threat. Whatever the reason, the goal is the same. Last week, this school went into lockdown twice. The situations triggering those actions were different, but the goal was the same. Our biggest concern is going to be student and staff safety. So anytime that we get any type of uh, threat, any, any type of incident that we feel like that there could breach safety concerns in the school, we want to go ahead and, and err on the side of caution and put the school in lockdown. Schools go into lockdown when there is a chance that harm could come to the student body. It could be a bomb threat. It could be a threat of a, a student that we had last week uh, here in Aberdeen bringing a gun to school or a knife or something that could hurt other children. Those are your major things. Any, anything that would cause someone to have bodily injuries or get hurt is the reason that they lock school campuses down. In these situations, students and teachers have to work together to remain safe and calm. Are there shades over the window? Or is everyone turning out the light? Is there a second uh, method of uh, not just the lock on the door, maybe a wedge underneath the door to, you know, to keep from other entry? Is, uh, are the students uh, hiding against the wall where you can't see in? And, uh, is everyone being quiet? During a lockdown, no one is allowed in or out of the building. For parents, not being able to get to their children can be stressful. I tell them to remain calm, to uh, uh, try to look at from a very positive standpoint that school is doing everything that they can possibly do to make sure that these kids are as safe as it can be. In these situations, social media can be a very useful tool for administrators. It allows them to keep parents and the public in the loop. You know, we ended up sending an uh, alert to the parents of the middle school. Then we sent an alert for an all clear. No matter the reason for the lockdown, the school is just looking to keep students safe. It's a good thing to be over cautious than under cautious. Scott, Scott Cantrell says schools in Monroe County are always in what he calls a soft lockdown. Teachers keep their doors locked except during class changes, adding some extra security to their classrooms.